Is it possible for you and your family to become less infected with the coronavirus using a simple nasal clip or even a closed drying pin? The answer may be yes, since new research studying the cell types of more than 1,600 people across 70 countries showed that the initial site where the coronavirus enters the body is on the inner surface of the nose. Collaborators from various universities, as part of the Human Cell Atlas Lung Biological Network, think they know why there's such a high transmission rate of this virus. It turns out that your nose contains two proteins that help this coronavirus enter your body. They are found at the surface of the inside of your nose at higher concentration levels than anywhere else, including your lungs. Now, there's different types of coronaviruses. This one, known as SARS-CoV-2, is a beta type, and it uses a receptor made in our cells to attach to known as ACE2 or ACE2. It also uses a protein made in our bodies called TMPRSS2 to help it enter into the cell. We know that the coronavirus enters mainly through the respiratory system, although there's also these viral proteins in your eyes and intestines as well as other parts of your body. What this study did for the first time is to use the data to determine that the nose is probably the initial site of infection. My suggestion is to block your nose. Use a nose clip or even a small clothespin to help you lower the chances of infection. Help yourself by blocking the virus from contacting the most susceptible part of your body, the inside of your nose. Breathe through your mouth. There are receptors there too, as well as in the eyes and elsewhere, including your mouth and lungs, through which you could get infected, but this study showed that the nose is where they're most concentrated. Keep in mind that surgical or cloth masks do not give you much protection. They exist mostly to protect others from you. They also help you because when you wear them, you don't touch your face. Cover your nose, block it, and put the mask on for added protection. If you don't have access to a mask, at least block your nose or cover your nose when you're with others, especially if you're indoors. Now, why should you do this if you're like the majority of us, and even if you become infected, it's unlikely to harm you? You have grandfathers, grandmothers, great uncles, great aunts, people that have suffering from respiratory infections, even high blood pressure, diabetes, severe obesity, are factors that predispose people to have severe problems with this virus. You're helping them when you do this. If you live in a nursing home, if you're a frontline worker and you're exposed to a lot of people that have this virus, in other words, there's a high viral load around you Consider using a nose clip when you're in front of them. Dining rooms, elevators, stairs, anywhere you see other people, even though they're apparently healthy, remember many of the asymptomatic people are indeed infected and are spreading the virus. I hope this is some help. It's a theory. There's other research coming in, in the future that will give us more information, but we have a good starting point, your nose, as a way of helping you to stop the infections.